Good morning everyone, so today we're at a Ford, Ford Focus 2016, <coughs> and it's our favourite, the EcoBoost. The customer's complaint with this one is low power, will not go over 70 miles an hour. Also, when you bring your car to the garage, why do you leave no petrol? Don't know. Common failure. Uh, performing a scan, so let's go right into that. Let's record. Diagnostic plan, so we have a tire pressure sensor, forget that. Door module, mirror folding, puddle lamp, mirror turn, mirror motor common, missing communication with door control switch back. The front distance sensing module, data received from the ECM. So it must be a problem with the ECM, obviously, PCM. G global positioning system module, battery voltage. Oh, here we go. PCM a P0299 turbocharger supercharger 8 under boost state. A clutch pedal position sensor AB correlation. And the power steering has received invalid data from the parking assist control module. So that's the big one there. That's why we've got no got no power. So let's go back. Let's just go right into the PCM. Turbocharger and the clutch pedal position AB correlation. Good fault code. Retrieve. So code says freeze frame. So the turbocharger. So we have seconds. Mm. Calculated load, so it was under load 65%. Engine coolant was up to temperature 98 degrees. 98 degrees, then we go over at 2500 RPM, so it was on the move. It's, the code was logged after 5 minutes 55 seconds, it was in closed loop, which is good. Air intake 25 degrees, intake absolute pressure, and so it was only getting up to 132 kPe. So, considering the atmospheric, we have 100, so it's only added 32 kPe, so that would be only about what, 3 or 4 psi boost. So it's no gave it much gun there. <clears throat> Let's give it something. Short term fuel trim looks fine. Spark advance nine degrees. Well, you think think at that speed it should be more than that. It's a bit flat. And here's the vehicle speed, ninety kilometers an hour, what's that? Forty, fifty miles an hour. So let's see when this one occurred. Sixty five, so exactly the same time, eh? That fault occurred. Right, there's something. Why would two faults occur at exactly the same time? Wire an issue? Let's see. <clears throat> so we've read the freeze frame. We'll read the data stream. So we'll go turbo. Looks for turbo in this. Wastegate, under boost condition, over boost condition. Let's just have a little look. So, turbocharger boost input uh, unreliable, no error. Turbocharger bypass state, open circuit, turbocharger bypass valve off. No error, no error, no error, no error. And it's at 50. 6% at the moment, so let's... Oh! A loose connection. Yes. I better just check our connection and get back to you. It's complaining here about the DLC. <coughs> oh, it's making a noise. Right. So what I had to end up doing was putting the DLC the OBD connector right into the DLC without the extension lead, so that seems to have cured the problem. Anyway, when we look at this graph, when we rev it, you can see that we're getting up to 90, but listen to this, we're misfiring. That's no normal. So, I wouldn't think that would be a strategy for this car to Misfire up there. 
Ooh. That should just have rev limiting. It would only take it to 3,000, but wouldn't it? Oh. Oh, here. There's nothing wrong with this. Look at the reek coming out the exhaust. I don't know if you can see in that mirror or not. It's a bit reeky. That's not right. What we'll do is take it a run and see how it responds and we'll clear the codes. So I'll just put... So there you, that's its state when it's uh, no boosting or when the en Q1 engine off 16%. So let's come out of this. Read fault memory. So they're still there. No other one's been put back in. Uh, clear fault memory. Yes. Retrieve. It's not like that clutch pedal for some reason. Let's go back and look at clutch pedal then. Let's do this. Uh, clear the fault memory again. Okay. Read fault. So we'll get key on engine off. Or we'll do the second one. Right. Key on engine running. Okay. Getting it revving up. We'll get back to you once it's completed the test. Well, it ran itself test and look at this. Oh, clutch pedal position, engine coolant, brake switch, clutch switch. So it's still complaining about that clutch AB correlation. Brake switch. So it's no light name. So let's go back and let's see if this puts it into trouble codes. Right, it's got the clutch. But let's go and see what the clutch switch says here. Clutch. So clutch, clutch, clutch. With A3. So clutch, but you so pressing the clutch down so you can see. So as soon as I touch the clutch, it goes partly depressed, right to the bottom, fully depressed. Well, here we go. Clutch pedal status checks again, degraded but functional. So we just need a clutch switch. Think so, eh? Let's graph all these ones. So here we go. It's working fine. I wonder if this degraded as to do with the code. So let's come back out of that, back out of that, read default codes, retrieve them, temperature. So let's clear that, do, do, clear fault memory, yes. Okay, read fault code. Bang! Right back. Can't get rid of it. Right, we need a clutch switch. Must start with what we know what's wrong with it, then we take it for the air. So, looking underneath there. Oh! There's a clutch switch lying out. <laughs> so there's another clutch switch. That needs to be popped back in. I think that's a problem. Look at this. Right, is that broken off? Right, it needs to fix that first. Right, that's me put it back in. I don't know why it was out. It was back in anyway. Oh. Let's see if this code will now clear now. So, back to the scan tool. 
So clear fault memory, yes. Okay, read fault memory. Retrieve it. So it's gone now, that's good. Uh, so let's take her a run. In fact, let's start her up, see if she does all that carry on. She's revving a bit more now. Still a misfire then. But let's read fault codes again. That's good. Uh, engine running test, let's do this one. Vehicle is stationary, the transmission range selector should be in part. Well, that's it. Ensure the parent brake is on. Uh, vehicle are equipped with sports economy switch, may require the switch to be. Okay. I'll let you see the results at the end of this test. Run that self test, so it's still coming back with engine coolant, brake switch out of self test range, and clutch switch out of self test range. Hmm. But let's retrieve these ones. So we're still, we're good to go. So let's see. Engine off self test. Okay. You can hear the fan running and everything like that. So that checks it fine. Well, let's give it a run. Well, I just took it for a quick shimmy. It certainly goes all right now. Plenty of power. Uh, the customer's complaint has now been rectified. So what I thought we'd do, let's just check. Oh, it's got start stop, there we go, it's now stopped. So that's good. Uh, let's go back into that read data stream for the clutch information just to see if that degraded mode had repaired itself. So select all, okay. So clutch released, there we go, no clutch released. So you see that uh, degraded mode has now been removed. So we'll call this one a fix. Why it came out, I do not know. And why when you run these tests, do these faults come back? But uh, there we go, clutch pedal status check, okay. It's okay now. That was a big one. Anyway, any more I'll get back to you. Cheers.